Alright everybody, what's good? Welcome back to the Life is Strange series. This is where we left off and the last part. This is episode 3 Chaos Theory. We are on part 2 right now. But uh, yeah, let's get into it. Now what are we supposed to be doing? I love this morning light. It's so peaceful. Wouldn't it be wicked if we could just hang out here forever like when we were kids? I guess so. Yes, but Cause school sadly, is for we're not kids anymore. No, I'm playing. You should go to school. At least you can date now, right? My dad was terrified of the day I would discover boys. Well, I ain't gonna choose the right one, because that's not true. So, you never really told me it's not true you had for a most serious people. boyfriend while I was away. Not serious. I was stupid, usually. I went through a boy toy phase, among other things. I can't see you with any of the guys around here. Because you have a good eye. Let's speak to Joyce. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel. Oh, I knew an old I lady mean, Max. named Joyce. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. These. Oh, no, never mind. Uh, eggs and bacon is always good. Eggs and bacon all the way. Remember when you guys would sleep in until I yelled out, wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Totally. We'd wake up so fast. So this time you can help me with the ingredients. I need um, you to grab me the actual eggs and the bacon. I didn't sign up for that. I can handle eggs and bacon. Eggs should be in the refrigerator. So should the bacon. I should evolve and become a vegan, but huh, bacon. Where the eggs at? 
They're not in the refrigerator too. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Like all she got was the bacon. They look like turkey bacon too. Come on, Max. Find those ingredients so we can chow down. Turkey bacon is where it's at, but I've um I've eaten it so much at this point that I want pork bacon again. What oh, happened to geez. the Can you help me get this bird out of here? What bird? Who are you talking? Oh. Why are they right here? Somebody went to the market the and just always and just first, and it was just so lazy, not even thinking, not even trying to help out and uh put it in the refrigerator. That's a little messed Thanks. up. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Yeah, I was about to say, why does she automatically think she's in L.A.? Uh, was she in trouble? I hate to even think this, much less say it out loud, but I think Rachel is in serious trouble. I know. I watch those awful true crime shows, and it makes me ill if I think about Rachel ending up on one. So I don't think too much. I see why Chloe is so obsessed with finding her. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you... that fast it can that can't be done thank you so much Joyce I'm never leaving this table good you can clean yeah and you again ah oh, made me remember so much I know these photos don't measure up to your work Max my favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours you make David happy Joyce he wants us all to be happy Max He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this, and, and... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And. This was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Speak up the devil. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please. It's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. <laughs> no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now, who's being paranoid? 
Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. Naturally, David would buy a heavy-duty military. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. 7171. Could be something. Let's try it out. Oh, shit balls. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. All right, we got to rewind. Let's check this cupboard. Nothing in it. There goes another padlock. Chloe can't get another gun now. Unless she steals it back from Frank. Got all kinds of guns in here, man. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. Black Lung. Okay, Dave Madsen. Alright, let's keep searching a little bit more before we go into anything else. I could try the license number for the password. Yeah, try that too. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? Oh yeah, search the sun visor. Cause I know Joyce some might people- as well wrote, let's get married. I was about to say, I know some people keep important files and stuff. It might be a useful there. password. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. All right, let's try a couple of, oh wait, what's this right here? Obviously David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Try this then. Hey, Score. got it. Max the hacker strikes again. Whoa, spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? All right, that's some information. Because I think he was following Rachel just like he was following uh, Kate. Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. Definitely, like I just this said. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. I better tell Chloe about this now. You should log out. Oh, it's just one more thing to make her sad. Just sign out. Yeah. Sign. All you gotta do is sign out to cover up your tracks, man. That's all you gotta do. Maybe, it, I, I don't know, man. Let's go talk to Chloe. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. <laughs> This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students 
taken over the campus. Yeah, it is. A do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody, like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody, like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not. Now, Chloe. He used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? You put the Who pimp haven't you down. accused or harassed? Between tell. your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Uh, side with Chloe. Why would I side with him? You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even threatened me. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, you were smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have... can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. So what? Screw him. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything, for his sake. Oh yeah, he he's got he's got. Let's the check gun. the door. If we had Frank the gets so gun, wasted, then... he sometimes forgets to lock it. We would have some leverage if we had a gun, but he took the gun from us. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. <laughs> All right, so what Gotta find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Dang. Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. Wow. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. <laughs> You're lucky I just took that gun from you. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. Wow. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. Well, I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? I don't blame you for getting extra work. 
Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. All right, now we can talk to Nathan about this. Rachel! I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers. Like a babysitter. Bullshit! My dad doesn't hire. He owns. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually, he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, forget I told you that. Seriously. Now get off my crack, whore. Keep your pie holes shut. You know I saw that photo Rachel gave you. Uh, uh how, how do you know about that? Huh? Chloe, right? She just told me that one of Rachel's favorite pictures was the one she did for you. Really? Yeah, I mean, that's what I thought. She was just a natural beauty, you know? Wait, wait, let me, let me find it. Here, judge for yourself. I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now. Alright, so I guess we can't just take... She should have just ran or something, I don't know. Key brought. Now back to Chloe. Are you shitting me? Yo, she always got stuff happening to her, man. And it's always her. It's hilarious. I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. On your mark, get set, throw! Get the treat, treat boy! I wasn't I think expecting we just made that, that dog our bitch. I wasn't expecting quick time now events in this in game. Peace, but let's not waste time. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. Boy, that means you gotta hurry up. Damn, I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast to Big Sur and beyond? He probably got something in his vent. I could pry this vent open with the right tool. Curses. Nothing here. Alright, we're gonna rewind and use that other vent. Should be something in this one. My blade will open any portal. Yep, found something. Oh man, Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. Read this at your leisure. I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Hmm, trouble in paradise. It makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging.
Yeah, I, 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 I'm not, I'm not understanding how this works. <laughs> I'll see y'all in the next one. I, I, this pissed me off. I've been sitting here for like 30 minutes trying to do this. I'm out. Peace.